CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 6 Integers Page 113 Part 1 6.1 Introduction Sunita's mother has eight bananas. Sunita has to go for a picnic with her friends. She wants to carry ten bananas with her. Can her mother give ten bananas to her? She does not have enough, so she borrows two bananas from her neighbor to be returned later. After giving ten bananas to Sunita, how many bananas are left with her mother? Can we say that she has zero bananas? She has no bananas with her, but has to return two to her neighbor. So, when she gets some more bananas, say six, she will return two and be left with four only. Ronald goes to the market to purchase a pen. He has only twelve rupees with him, but the pen costs fifteen rupees. The shopkeeper writes three rupees as due amount from him. He writes three rupees in his diary to remember Ronald's debit. But how would he remember whether three rupees has to be given or has to be taken from Ronald? Can he express this debit by some color or sign? Ruchika and Salma are playing a game using a number strip which is marked from 0 to 25 at equal intervals. To begin with, both of them placed a coloured token at the zero mark. Two coloured dice are placed in a bag and are taken out by them one by one. If the dice is red in colour, the token is moved forward as per the number shown on throwing this dice. If it is blue, the token is moved backward as per the number shown when this dice is thrown. Page 114 The dice are put back into the bag after each move, so that both of them have equal chance of getting either dice. The one who reaches the 25th mark first is the winner. They play the game. Ruchika gets the red dice and gets four on the dice after throwing it. She thus moves the token to mark four on the strip. Salma also happens to take out the red dice and wins three points and thus moves her token to number three. In the second attempt, Ruchika secures three points with the red dice and Salma gets four points but with the blue dice. Where do you think both of them should place their token after the second attempt? Ruchika moves forward and reaches 4 plus 3, that is, the seventh mark, whereas Salma placed her token at zero position. But Ruchika objected, saying she should be behind zero. Salma agreed, but there is nothing behind zero. What can they do? Salma and Ruchika then extended the strip on the other side. They used a blue strip on the other side. Now Salma suggested that she is on one mark behind zero, so it can be marked as blue one. If the token is at blue one, then the position behind blue one is blue two. Similarly, Blue 3 is behind blue 2. In this way, they decided to move backward. Another day, while playing, they could not find blue paper. So, Ruchika said, Let us use a sign on the other side, as we are moving in opposite direction. So, you see, we need to use a sign going for numbers less than 0. The sign that is used is the placement of a minus sign, attached to the number. This indicates that numbers with a negative sign are less than zero. These are called 
negative numbers. Do this. Who is where? Suppose David and Mohan have started walking from zero position in opposite directions. Let the steps to the right of zero be represented by plus sign and to the left of zero represented by minus sign. If Mohan moves five steps to the right of zero, it can be represented as plus five. And if David moves five steps to the left of zero, it can be represented as minus five. Page 115. Now represent the following positions with plus or minus sign. A. Eight steps to the left of zero. B. Seven steps to the right of zero. C. Eleven steps to the right of zero. D. Six steps to the left of zero. Do this. Who follows me? We have seen from the previous examples that a movement to the right is made if the number by which we have to move is positive. If a movement of only one is made, we get the successor of the number. Write the succeeding number of the following. Number, successor. 10, 8, minus 5, minus 3, 0. You have to write the successor against each number in the given table. A movement to the left is made if the number by which the token has to move is negative. If a movement of only one is made to the left, we get the predecessor of a number. We have a strip showing the numbers from minus 8 on the left to 0 in the middle all the way to 8 on the right. Now write the preceding number of the following. Number predecessor 10 8 5 3 0 write the predecessor of each number in the given space 6.1.1 tag me with a sign we have seen that some numbers carry a minus sign for example if we want to show ronald's due amount to the shopkeeper we would write it as minus 3 Page 116. Following is an account of a shopkeeper which shows profit and loss from the sale of certain items. Since profit and loss are opposite situations, and if profit is represented by plus sign, loss can be represented by minus sign. Some of the situations where we may use these signs are we have a table here with four columns. Column 1, name of items. Column 2, profit. Column 3, loss. Column 4, representation with proper sign. Mustard oil, profit, 150 rupees. Rice, loss, 250 rupees. Black pepper, profit, 225 rupees. Wheat, profit, 200 rupees. Groundnut oil, Loss, 330 rupees. You have to write representation with proper sign for all the items. The height of a place above sea level is denoted by a positive number. Height becomes lesser and lesser as we go lower and lower. Thus, below the surface of the sea level, we can denote the height by a negative number. If earnings are represented by plus sign, then the spendings may be shown by a minus sign. Similarly, temperature above zero degrees Celsius is denoted by a plus sign and temperature below zero degrees Celsius is denoted by minus sign. For example, the temperature of a place 10 degrees below zero degrees Celsius is written as minus 10 degrees Celsius. Try these. Write the following numbers with appropriate signs. A. 100 meters below sea level. B. 25 degrees Celsius above 0 degrees Celsius temperature. C. 
15 degrees Celsius below 0 degrees Celsius temperature. D. Any five numbers less than 0. 6.2. Integers. The first numbers to be discovered were natural numbers, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. If we include 0 to the collection of natural numbers, we get a new collection of numbers known as whole numbers, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. You have studied these numbers in the earlier chapter. Now we find that there are negative numbers too. If we put the whole numbers and the negative numbers together, the new collection of numbers will look like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and so on. And this collection of numbers is known as integers. In this collection, 1, 2, 3, and so on, are said to be positive integers, and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on, are said to be negative integers. Page 117. Let us understand this by the following figures. Let us suppose that the figures represent the collection of numbers written against them. We have five different figures and we have written text against each of them. Natural numbers, whole numbers, zero, negative numbers and integers. Then the collection of integers can be understood by the following diagram in which all the earlier collections are included. We have the diagram of integers with all the earlier collections shown. 6.2.1 Representation of integers on a number line. Draw a line and mark some points at equal distance on it as shown in the figure. Mark a point as zero on it. Points to the right of zero are positive integers and are marked plus one, plus two, plus three, etc. Or simply one, two, three, etc. Points to the left of zero are negative integers and are marked minus one, minus two, minus three, etc. In order to mark minus six on this line, we move six points to the left of zero. Figure 6.1 In order to mark plus two on the number line, we move two points to the right of zero. Figure 6.2 Page 118 Try these. Mark minus three, seven, minus four, minus eight, minus one and minus three on the number line. 6.2.2 Ordering of Integers Raman and Imran live in a village where there is a step well. There are in all 25 steps down to the bottom of the well. One day, Raman and Imran went to the well and counted 8 steps down to water level. They decided to see how much water would come in the well during rains. They marked zero at the existing level of water and marked one, two, three, four, etc. above that level for each step. After the rains, they noted that the water level rose up to the sixth step. After a few months, they noticed that the water level had fallen three steps below the zero mark. Now, they started thinking about marking the steps to note the fall of water level. Can you help them? Suddenly, Raman remembered that at one big dam, he saw numbers marked even below zero. Imran pointed out that there should be some way to distinguish between numbers which are above zero and below zero. Then Raman recalled that the numbers which were below zero had minus sign in front of them. So they marked one step below zero as minus one 
and two steps below zero as minus two and so on. So, the water level is now at minus three, that is three steps below zero. After that, due to further use, the water level went down by one step and it was at minus four. You can see that minus four is less than minus three. Keeping in mind the above example, fill in the boxes using greater than and less than signs. We have a figure which shows numbers marked in positive and negative above and below zero respectively. Zero dash minus one minus fifty dash minus seventy minus fifty three dash minus five minus hundred dash minus one hundred one fifty dash minus fifty one minus seven dash one page one hundred nineteen let us once again observe the integers which are represented on the number line we know that seven is greater than four and from the number line shown above we observe that 7 is to the right of 4, figure 6.3. Similarly, 4 is greater than 0 and 4 is to the right of 0. Now, since 0 is to the right of minus 3, so 0 is greater than minus 3. Again, minus 3 is to the right of minus 8, so minus 3 is greater than minus 8. Thus, we see that on a number line, the number increases as we move to the right and decreases as we move to the left. Therefore, minus 3 is less than minus 2, minus 2 is less than minus 1, minus 1 is less than 0, 0 is less than 1, 1 is less than 2, 2 is less than 3, and so on. Hence, the collection of integers can be written as minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Try these. Compare the following pairs of numbers using greater than or less than sign. 0 dash minus 8. 5 dash minus 5. 0 dash 6 minus 1 dash minus 15 11 dash 15 minus 20 dash 2 from the above exercise Rohini arrived at the following conclusions a every positive integer is larger than every negative integer b 0 is less than every positive integer C. 0 is larger than every negative integer. D. 0 is neither a negative integer nor a positive integer. E. Farther a number from 0 on the right, larger is its value. F. Farther a number from 0 on the left, smaller is its value. Do you agree with her? Give examples. Example 1. By looking at the number line, answer the following questions. Which integers lie between minus 8 and minus 2? Which is the largest integer and the smallest integer among them? Solution. Integers between minus 8 and minus 2 are minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3. The integer minus 3 is the largest and minus 7 is the smallest. If I am not at 0, what happens when I move? Let us consider the earlier game being played by Salma and Ruchika. Page 120 Suppose Ruchika's token is at 2. At the next turn she gets a red dice which after throwing gives a number 3. 
It means she will move three places to the right of two. Thus, she comes to five. If, on the other hand, Salma was at one and drawn a blue dice which gave her number three, then it means she will move to the left by three places and stand at minus two. By looking at the number line, answer the following question. Example 2. A. One button is kept at minus 3. In which direction and how many steps should we move to reach at minus 9? B. Which number will we reach if we move 4 steps to the right of minus 6? Solution. A. We have to move 6 steps to the left of minus 3. B. We reach minus 2 and we move 4 steps to the right of minus 6. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT. New Delhi, India.